ladies and gentlemen, this show has parental advisory explicit content. Please be advised. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the EMLB Broadcast Buddies, the Podcast Pals. And this one is an After Dark special. Once again, our second one in a row. This time we've got four-fifths of the crew here. We've got Andrew, we've got Brendan, we've got Tim, and we got myself, Coach Prime, baby. You forgot the sunglasses. I did, huh? Eh, whatever. This is it's the typical dress for the job you want, not the job you have. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you know, I'd love to be Coach Brown. And I want to say that I opened I'd love this to get the second base tonight. <laughs> I opened this tonight. And, and you know, we're not sponsored on this show, but if you'd like to save second base, we do have the ability to do it. Check out the Discord. For the merch link inside. We're not sponsored, but we are fucking sponsoring Simply Sangria Wine Company in Wichita, Kansas. They're the fucking best. All right. We're sponsoring (laughs) them. I ain't paying them anything. You're the one who paid them. (laughs) I did pay them. I paid them $21. I feel left with the Chick-fil-A brigade. Everybody had Chick-fil-A tonight except me. That's actually from a couple days ago. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This, so this is my dinner right here. I got pizza. Ooh, ooh, that looks good. Yes, and I'm hungry. All right, so I will I will be eating. Sorry in advance for people watching. It's okay. All right. Let's, you're disgusting and lame. Let's just let's just move on to what the plan Jesus Christ. Let's <laughs> move right. on. Here's it's how Brendan's, I want you here's how on, I want on. you guys let me, to do let it. me introduce it. Fine. This is Brendan's power rankings, his drug power rankings. <laughs> Brendan is going to tell us the team, give us a small maybe explanation, and then the rest of us are going to make fun of him for why he did it. Can I make fun of you for calling this a power rankings and not a tier list? Bitch this ass. Ain't, this ain't the power day. rankings. Bitch yeah, ass. Whatever. Can't even fucking call it the right thing. He's podcast are we going lawyers. straight down the list of teams on no, there? Or are you gonna actually, that's, and that's what I was going to say. I want you guys to throw the team to me and I put it on the rankings. All right. That's fair. So do you want me to kick us off then? Since Kick since us off there, here? buckaroo. Hit me with the Miami Marlins. All right. The Miami Marlins. Miami Marlins. Um, I'm going to go ahead and – oh, fuck, I clicked on the wrong thing. I'm going to go <laughs> ahead and put them in the aggressively mediocre – Oh, category. I should hold on. I should preface before we keep going, just in case you know for some reason you're illiterate and can't read. We've got legit contenders, <laughs> <laughs> or in case you're just listening to audio, <laughs> uh, that too. Because we've you can't read. Con- we say yeah, exactly. <laughs> legit contenders. Then we've got playoff teams, bubble bitches, aggressively mediocre, and straight booty. Sorry, By the way, can... I submitted the tier list beforehand to these guys, and they said it looked great. And then I come in, and they've changed everything. <laughs> yeah, that's better. Well, because drunk. No, actually, sober... no. Playoff teams. Playoff teams stayed the same. Everything else was sober. Uh, Brendan, because... a... hold on. Sober Brendan approved. Yeah. Drunk Brendan did not. <laughs> exactly. I'm you not left drunk Brendan. To... You left. You left drunk Brendan. And me and Tim to our own devices. You weren't here. That was your own mistake. Um, listen, we all I'm love sorry, Eddie. We, we all love Eddie. Let's not eat up his time by talking about the, the tier list. Discuss, agree, or disagree with me. I think they have. I think this is the right spot for them. There could be, you know, a, a small, you know, a minuscule. I'd say chance you could say. Hey, maybe they're a bubble team. They're three games under 500. The NL is pretty tight, but they're only six and a half back. If they do the right things, they could make it. But I think aggressively mediocre hovering right about 500. But Eddie might pull something out of his magic little hat when he tries to put some butts in seats in the second half. I, I Real quick, I also want to I want to say one thing. I'm not ranking these based on record. I'm ranking these on spirit. How good are these teams? Lord. Yeah, I I would agree with um, with Aiden's analysis there. I would say I I have them like right on the edge of getting into the bubble. Um, They're on the I, bubble I, of the bubble. Yeah, the the bubble of yeah, double bubble. The bubble bubbles, bitch. 
<laughs> okay, so they're um, so they're NIT material. Yeah, Got it. yeah. yeah exactly. Right. They're, they're they're like they're Final Four NIT. They're, yeah, they're, right. the, they're the six they're the sixth team in the first four out, if you know what I'm saying. So and, I will say, and he's done Eddie's done a great job because a few seasons ago you would have put him in straight booty. Oh, they, dude, I would have made a new category the for them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm curious to see. Because they usually make trades around the trade deadline to spruce things up, and he kind of and he kind of goes out on a limb and makes moves specifically to get butts and seats. Now that he's relatively competitive, I'm curious to see how the thinking changes, or if it changes. So, but All right. uh, hey, vote Eric, vote Eric Von Cola for uh, All Star Game. That's fair. All right, who's throwing the next team out? Andrew, you want to throw a team out? Yeah, I'll throw one out. Let's switch leagues. Let's go. Let's go Minnesota Twins. Minnesota's Twins. The Minnesota Twins. I ain't going to have no trouble ranking them. They're going solidly into straight booty. This is a team that is not very good. This is no hate. I think this ranking we we must say is no hate to Aaron. She got the reins of a shitty team that was railroaded, uh, and and you know she she's doing what she can with them. I'd say we're talking in the next season and a half, two seasons. They're in that playoff team area because Aaron is a magician. Yeah, I mean when when she took this team over, it was a shit show in the inside a dumpster fire. So. Yeah. Careful she's... now. <laughs> hey. Don't insult, don't insult dumpster fires like that. Hey, hey, no, okay. no, you haven't picked but Arizona have... yet. Hey, hey, <laughs> but if you but if you ask Twitter, there could be a GM firing on the in the horizon, you know, if you ask Twitter, but Yeah, but who asked them? So what do they it's, know? It's, it's X now, Aiden. <laughs> oh, X. My bad. My apologies. <laughs> but yeah, I I agree. I it's It'll be interesting to see what Aaron does to turn this team around. I'm kind of annoyed. I'm looking forward to it. Me yet. Well, you haven't Look. said anything stupid yet. I'm not saying much. I'm just putting the teams on the frame. Well, right? see, and that's the thing is I I, I purposely picked a team that wasn't going to be oh, controversial because okay. we're so saving we're doing, we're, we're doing, some we're doing, we're doing soft tosses right now. Okay, we're getting – Yeah, we're warming up. Right. Tim, let's Miami was like – Woo! Oh, all right. Let's go National League and let's let's get some some balance in our ledger here. Philadelphia Phillies. <laughs> Philadelphia Phillies. Okay, so here's where I think it'll be a really good idea to draw the distinction between legit contenders and playoff teams. I am ranking these based on feel, how I feel these teams are. Okay? That makes sense to everybody involved? Yes. I'm all about the feels. You got me in my Phillies feels, are a playoff team. I could tell that's where you were going when you were trying to specify I figured. that. I wasn't hmm. meaning it to be that dramatic of a reveal. I just wanted to specify. That was well done. Well it's it's funny because it's kind of like the opposite of the Phillies IRL who are like that wild card team that barely gets in and then they explode mm -hmm. in the playoffs. Wow. And this season, Brittany, you just described the Phillies as a team that's exploding in the regular season and are going to fall short in the playoffs. I can right. see where you're coming from when you put them in playoff teams. Outside of Andrew James, their bullpen scares me a little bit because it doesn't have a track mm -hmm. record. It doesn't have a consistent track record. That lineup, no questions asked, is a good fucking lineup. I mean, except you, it really led... They're mid. Well, you know, at, at the end of May, they were 39 and 16. And since then, I mean, they're still above 500, 20 and 15. But they're not nearly as dominant as they were in the early stages. And, and, and a lot of that comes down beginning to, to fall. I mean, it's all pitching in defense. A, a lot of it comes down to Andrew James at the back end of that bullpen has saved them in multiple one run games that they probably had no business winning last year 
or even in years prior. He's got mm-hmm. a 22 to 3 shutdown meltdown ratio this year. That is fucking awesome. Yeah, but it's not just Andrew James. I know you said the rest of the bullpen scares you. They have the second best bullpen ERA in the National League. I, I, I'm saying right now their bullpen is overperforming what they should be. Their oh, yeah. track I'm, record doesn't show. Their track record doesn't. In one run games, they're 13 and 7. In extra inning games, they're 7 and 2. Small That's sample size and not sustainable. So. I think I think that being a playoff team, here's the thing: bubble bitches can make the playoffs, okay? But playoff teams are that second tier of squad. There's only a handful of legit contenders. This is not an insult to the Phillies. It's just no. that the Phillies are not that top tier team. Right. Then, then allow me for for our next team. I should say. Let's throw in the Houston Astros because I got a feeling I know where they're going to go. All right. Well, that's a softball. I, I, I'm just, again keeping a little bit of the confidence. Uh, I, I don't mean that bit. badly. Houston's goddamn a fucking. Houston's a fucking world beater year in year out. That's just who they are. We'll see how the new financial era of MLB of EMLB affects them moving forward. But as things stand right now, on a W fourteen, and just took the lead yeah. in the division. True. Yeah, I don't think you'll hear much complaining from ever, anyone. I didn't nope. think I would either. I got nothing else to add. Perennial <laughs> contenders. Yeah. All right, yeah, Andrew, yeah. your turn. Throw a team. Let's go. Let's go to the West. Let's go Rockies. Rockies. Okay. We're heading to Colorado. I actually don't (laughs) hate where the franchise is at right now. I think they're Mm -hmm. actually doing pretty well. They won six straight. (laughs) Well, actually, I wasn't even acknowledging that, but like, yeah, they have. Um, Feels. I actually don't feel like they're straight booty. I think they're aggressively Mm -hmm. mediocre. They're at the bottom of aggressive. They're at the bottom of aggressive mediocrity, but they're. Not if aggressive mediocrity was a scale, you've got Miami on on this end, and you've got Colorado on this end. Yeah, sure. I mean, that's that's how it is. I mean, this Colorado team, you'll they'll always hit. That's never a question. You play in Coors Field for eighty-one games a year, you're gonna hit. But they're pitching, even though the statistically, like. You, you look at the statistics of their team according – they're 32nd in ERA in the bigs, 32nd in, in Ks. That's their weak point, and that's always going to be their weak point. I like J.J. Ryder a lot. Mm, yeah. They've got a very good young outfield to build around. Yeah, it's a solid organization. It's just uh, – They've made some improvements. Um. It's just really hard to build a pitching staff in Colorado, no matter who's running the team. Yeah, I, it's it's the kind of thing where if you really challenge, you know, do you do you go all stuff and just kind of, you know, hope it's enough to keep the home run balls down because they're just not getting bats on the balls? Or, you know, what do you do? Um, it's, it's, it's crazy. So. I'm not hearing a lot of disagreement. Tim, what's your second team? Oh, let's go Detroit Tigers. Oh, Detroit. Detroit. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm like a little bit messed up tonight. Um, Just a little bit? <sighs> okay. So here's the thing. I mentioned that I'm doing this based on feelings, and my feeling is to put Detroit in straight booty. I think they've got Mm. just enough to remain aggressively mediocre, but I don't feel good about it. You know what? Fuck it. Their farm system sucks. Straight booty. (laughs) You all right over there, Andrew? (laughs) 
I, <laughs> I would I would have my them pizza gonna choke on it. <laughs> I, I would have them in aggressive mediocre. So and and I'm not I'm not picking this hill to die on. Uh, it, it's it, it's it's a narrow distinction. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a little bit. Yeah, I I, 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 I just don't feel good about where they're at as a franchise. And that is in no slight to the GM. That is no, no he's in his first year. GM. Yeah. I mean, you've got Ketel Marte, who is no, yeah, yeah. It's his first year. You've got Ketel yeah. Marte there, who's hitting three thirty three. He'll be gone. You got Chuck Norris, who is Chuck Norris. Yeah, yeah, he's he. You got, Chuck Norris isn't playing well this season at all. You got Cedric Mullins, who's having a bounce back, a, a good year above his averages on the pitching side for Amber Valdez as a reliever is so, reinventing himself, I guess is a way to put it. Here's my uh, thing about Detroit. They need actually, to get, they need to get younger at this point. Yes. They are 11 games out of the wild card and a majority of their starting lineup is over 30. You've got Bregman, Marte Mullins are all over 30, all playing decently. Well, Bregman's average right now. Those three need to be moved this deadline to contending teams to get back some young talent. I do feel like the top of their farm is pretty darn good. They got four nice prospects. And then there's just absolutely nothing else. The rest of the farm looks like Baltimore's farm. That's not a compliment. Whoa. That's not a farm. If he is smart, if, if well, that is a farm, Detroit... it's a 1930s Kansas Dust Bowl farm. <laughs> okay. If Detroit is smart, I'm looking to move Joe Jimenez. I'm looking to move Framber Valdez. I'm looking to move <sighs> Shane Boz. And I'm looking to move Matt Manning. I'm looking to move all three of the all four of those guys. That way I can start competing. And get younger, like Andrew said. I think they're a little bit better than straight booty. I think they're better than Minnesota. I'd put them in aggressively mediocre. But, again, not a hill to die on. I think they're better than Minnesota. I think <clears throat> both of them are booty. Are you going to do the thing where you have it in order on each tier? No. Okay, just asking. Fine, sure. I, I'm i not saying you should. You just I'm ask just a question. If- God, you just... You- you're such a nagger. Oh, my God. <laughs> Are you happy now, Mom? No, nah, he's <laughs> nagging you like a... He's nagging you like Kamisha's ex-wife. <laughs> I, I can see Andrew just like... I can see all the gears turning in his head. If it was a cartoon, Steve would be coming out of his ears. I was trying so hard to think of a reply, and I was coming up empty. <laughs> no, <laughs> All right, let's go to let's go let's let's Excuse stay me. in the east. But let's go all the way on the east coast. Let's talk about the Mets, baby. Let's go Mets. Hit a home run. Let's go Mets. Hmm. How do I feel about the Mets? It's all about the Mets, baby. Here's the thing. I want you guys to know I did zero prep work for tonight. Okay. We know. And I don't But, but this is like... where you but this is where you get the raw insight. Yeah, this is raw. Mets are aggressively mediocre. Head of the Rockies behind the Marlins. I just see no real path forward for this franchise in their division. But I also don't think that they're straight booty. And here's where it's not based on record. They have a better Uh, record than the Tigers. But I just don't really feel like they're quite straight booty. I think they're a little bit better than the record. Not much. But they inspire nothing. I think straight booty inspires feelings of awe. And bubble teams (laughs) are, like, interesting enough to be in the playoff picture. The thing to be about aggressive, mediocre teams is you're either right around average or you're just kind of eh. And the Mets are eh. I'm not going to lie, I kind of forgot the Mets existed before this. Like, that's how irrelevant they are right now. This is is one of those teams that I think is going to struggle with our new dynamic in the league where you have to make so many moves just to stay where you already are. 
And if you don't, you're going to lose, lose ground. <clears throat> and I don't know short of a total sell the whole farm system, how they compete with the Philadelphia's and Pittsburgh's. Or even the Cincinnati's this year. Yep. I, I honestly think that the, the Mets are underperforming to their talent level. They have a lot of talent on that roster, but their offense for whatever reason is just absolutely atrocious this year. Like you have players, like the only real good offensive player you've got right now is are Danny McGuire and Billy Anderson. Everyone else is either right at average or well below average. And you've got players like, you, that you expected to be an offensive force like Benny Rodriguez, um, uh, Sergio Fajardo. Well, Fajardo's doing pretty good. He's not hitting for average, though. But a lot of these players are hitting well below where you expected them to be hitting. And I think that I, that's why I would put them, like, if I just looked at their roster, I would actually call them on the bubble. But their performance has them aggressively mediocre. And yes, I am purposely avoiding saying the other part of the bubble. <laughs> bubble bitches. And All right. your turn. Let's do. Let's see. I'm trying. I'm trying to keep this balanced. We've done how many? Let's see. We've, let's go another West. No, nope, Eastern team from the AL. Let's go, Cleveland Guardians. Cleveland Guardians, legit fucking contenders. Too legit to quit. This team, if you were just by war, which is not a complete metric, it's a system, it's a rough approximation of value, but we're going to use it here to prove a point. The top three pitchers in the American League by war, according to Stats Plus All Star voting, which I did today, were all Indians. It's nasty. <laughs> including number five as well. Their top yeah. four pitchers. Are the top are, are four of the top five pitchers in the American League? That's not. And by the way, we haven't even talked about the fact that they got a great offense. As a matter of fact, very good offense. Ooh, that's bold. That's oh, bold. that. Oh, 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 boo, boo. No, I'm on board with this. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> that's bullshit. I'll take Houston over over Cleveland every day of the week. And you know what? I think Cleveland is a legit contender. Sadier has done a very good job with that find team. Out in the ALCS. I will give him all the – huh? Let's find out in the ALCS. But I am telling you, Houston is better than Cleveland. Until Houston is dethroned, you cannot tell me otherwise. I mean, they split a four-game by, series, by, by the way. Last year. Oh. I mean, that, that... – that rotation is hard to argue with. I'm, Best rotation I have in loved, baseball, no question, and one of the top offenses in baseball. I think they I, – I agree with Brendan's take here. I think they are more of a favorite right now than Houston. The only reason that Houston has one more win than Cleveland is right now they're on a 14-game winning streak. Uh, so Cleveland has had run of the league – for most of the season. Now, to be fair, Houston's beating some good teams in the, like Washington and San Diego, but they also had started this off with Oakland, Kansas City, and Portland. So, I, I think the top four teams in the American League are all a good player being injured for two weeks away from getting, you know, from losing it. Uh, I think there's not that much difference between the four. So I would probably switch Houston and Cleveland, but, you know, not enough to argue over. Look, all I'm saying is I, I trust the dome, the Chrome dome. Well said. Tim, it's your team. Oh, yeah. Um, Let's go Montreal Expos. Whoa. That's easy. I don't even got to look at it. Boop. Yep. They're an expansion. Yep. How, how far away yep. do you think they are from contending? Four years. 
Okay. That's not that's not a bad thing to be. No, it's mm-hmm. not bad. I, I I do feel bad though because I feel like they they had a strong inaugural season, but they've taken a slight step back this year. I don't really think they've taken a step back. I think that their record is worse, but I think as an organization, they're moving forward. I mean, that's fair. Once we, once you get through a few of these drafts and start building the farm system. I, th- I, th- I think the, and it's going to be the same thing for Portland too. Oh yeah. The, the fact that the, the farm systems were just, you know, if they'd had a year to build the farm system before fielding a major league club, maybe that would have helped, yeah. but they're always, they're going to be, several years trying to catch up yeah oh actually i think i might want to do something here no i kind of, i actually agree with my decision um and since we just mentioned it and they're not very interesting to talk about sorry attica toss up between the two of them i put montreal ahead of them again same story as montreal i think yeah they're not yeah. as interesting to talk about again sorry attica um so let's just go ahead and toss them on there and then move on and hang All in right, there you got yeah, this. You got you got this, bro. Just mute the server. <laughs> um, that too. Do I want to? Do I want to play with fire yet? Play with fire, bitch. Kansas City. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Gonna wake up my kid. <laughs> All right. Let's go pink. I think pink, purple pink is good for him. Oh, why did it do that? No, move those up. <laughs> oh, it messed up my system. I'm so annoyed. It messed up the dramatic reveal. It's fine. Okay. Kansas City deserves their own tier. I refuse to elaborate. <laughs> <laughs> I refuse to elaborate. Okay. <laughs> Again, the well thought out content you're here for. (laughs) Should we discuss or just move on? I I mean, I put them in straight booty. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm not gonna sit here and make new tears, but (laughs) that's 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 all on Brendan. But I would put them in straight booty. I think this is a team that needs to build. Through the farm system, through the draft. Oh, whoops! Not trade as much. They, <clears throat> they need to hit a reset button. They needed to hit that reset button going into this year. Well, and the, the year so that, that that's the thing that the talent level is to the point now where <clears throat> it would be it's going to be hard for them to get talent from anyone else. So I think the focus needs to be on the draft. And just sit there for the, it's not fun, it's not sexy, but it will, that will get them back to contention a lot. Work the waiver them. wire, work the waiver wire. Yeah, maybe don't trade your first round draft pick for Corbin Burns. Hmm. Yeah, maybe Please. don't give I up your third round injured. draft, maybe don't give up your third round pick to sign Matt Chapman. Although actually, actually, real quick, I just want to take I want to take that back. I'm sorry, Minerva. I actually kind of forgot he got Michael Knight with that deal, and then he flipped Corbin Burns for another decent prospect. So never mind. You turned one, you turned one okay prospect into two okay prospects. So that's actually a smart move. Do more of that. Yep. Sorry, I shouldn't have been so mean. Please forgive me. Also, as a former owner of. Hank Bearden in AAA. I'm wondering when you're going to call him up. I thought he was going to be on your roster by now. <laughs> thought that was one of the reasons you traded for him. Yeah, he's a good prospect. All right. Andrew Can't Pizzi. do any worse than the other. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> wait a wait a minute. Brendan's uh, Brendan's uh, bottle of wine is niche, reaching the Mendoza line. That's a bottle. Of- Twenty percent. of line is reaching the line where all Royals hitters struggle to stay at. <laughs> where did Aiden go? You you've got two more shots to take uh, before you get to the Diamondbacks hitting. Where'd he go? There he Sorry. is. 
Coach Prime. Coach Prime had a press conference, apparently. St- Stephen A. called. Yeah. All right, whose turn is it? I think it's... <laughs> you it's, went out looking Andrew. for Colorado's defense. my turn. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Let's go Dodgers. Los Doyers. Los Doyers. Okay, so here's the thing about the Dodgers. I'm not buying them at all. Um, they're currently, I just want to check the record. They are 47 and 34. But to me, they ain't even on my bubble. That team's aggressively mediocre. I think they're going to pull, I think they're going to fall backwards by the time the season's all said and done. Notice everybody in the National League below the Cubs in the wild card race has you got to go down to Colorado to find a winning record in the last 10 games. Oh, yeah, you do. Matter of fact, they're the only winning record below the Cubs in the last 10 games. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Does anyone have a comment on that? I think it's the consensus seems to be pretty strong. Uh, yeah. I... I'd say they're a bubble team because because the Dodgers are the Do- he will find a way to make some moves and continue to make moves. Look, I like Chris he, he, a lot. Chris I is like, a, this Dodgers team is a bubble team. I like Chris a lot. I really like Chris a lot. But where is this narrative that he's gonna find a way to make moves coming from? Yeah, I, I think if this was anybody else. We'd be talking about this team as as nearing a rebuild, yeah. And so I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with that that they're nearing a rebuild. Yeah, like I'm not gonna pretend like I'm great, but like I mean, I'd see my name. Right, I hear you. <laughs> oh wait, you guys can yeah. Can you guys see my Can you guys see my full name because it's getting covered up on my screen? Yeah, yeah. I can see it. There you go, worst GM. Well, I. <laughs> That's I actually, I actually was, I chose the Dodgers thinking it would be our first bubble team. Really? Because I do think they, 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 they're one of those teams that's on the verge of bubble versus mediocre. But I would actually have them on the bubble. Um, they're 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 in contention this year, but I don't think they'll make the playoffs. So I I, because looking at the list of, of the mediocre teams. I can say I think the Dodgers are better than all three of those teams that you currently have on the mediocre list. So I would put them in the bubble. I just want to say it's in spirit the Dodgers are yeah. not a playoff team. I didn't say they were a playoff. Could very team. easily, I said they were a bubble team. <laughs> kind of like how this year the Miami Marlins made the playoffs. But let's be real, that team wasn't a playoff team. In real I life, okay. I still don't. I still don't think life. the Dodgers make the playoffs this year, but I do think they are going to be. They're going to be a few games out. Mood. That's why they're on the bubble. Cool. All right, next team. Yeah, it's you, Tim. Oh, yeah, um, every three times. Only because I have a rooting interest, Tampa Bay. I mean, uh, not Tampa Bay, Toronto. Taranto, Taranto, Taranto. Whoa. Okay. okay. Interesting. That is interesting. I don't think I don't they're, I, a, I don't I think they're I, a legit contender. No. I think their pitching holds them back. I do think, though, that their lineup is deadly as fuck. Yeah, uh, that offense can really break. Um, you know, that guy named Ed Brown, he's decent. Yeah. yeah. I, wonder, I, I wonder if he's still enjoying the hookers too much. or <laughs> Trade him to Kansas City for scraps to teach him a lesson. <laughs> 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 Trade him for Omaha. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think I feel like that's a team that is about a year away from being head and shoulders above everybody else. 
I felt I felt like in the preseason when everybody was saying that they were going to walk away with it, I just I felt like Cleveland was going to be uh, better than them. But it'd be nice to see Ed in the playoffs. I agree. I have, I have no disagreement with where you put them. I would put the Phillies ahead of them, but otherwise. All right, Coach. I like how he went and ordered a Coach Prime sweatshirt. Oh, I got it given to me for free. Oh, that's even better. Swag uh, is where it's at. If it's free, it's for me. Let's do the Oakland Athletics. You have a chance to do something real funny here. <laughs> He's thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, yes. Oh, I thought you. Just kidding. I'm not a coward nor a troll, unlike Andrew. <laughs> I do think <laughs> that the athletics are like a long as fuck way from being good, even from being decent. They're straight booty. That said, I'd feel a lot better about where they're at if they had more of a farm system. That said, I'd feel pretty good about this team if they were playing 26 players on their roster. That said, I don't think they're as bad as the rest of the straight booty teams that are ranked. They're like or slightly above, like like the width of a hair above. Slide a sheet of paper in it, it might get stuck. Okay. Not hearing any arguments. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I Coward. understand I I under I'm gonna ignore that. I understand what they were doing at the beginning of the season, trying to clear all that money out, just basically try to get a clean refresh. Yeah. Um so I hope I hope that financially it works out for them, but they still have like you said, they still have some work to do rebuilding the farm system. So they've got some work to do. They're they're just trying they're they're basically trying to hit the reset button, <sighs> essentially. Yes, they are. So but the, up, upcoming draft is deep enough should help. Yeah, yeah for sure. I, think, I, I think that they're going to be very sad to miss out on a very good vegetable player. Yeah. This is true. All right. Who's next? Would that be me? Yes, sir. Seattle Mariners. Gotta think about this one actually. So, like, on one hand, I actually kind of regret what I did with the Dodgers, and I kind of do agree that the Dodgers maybe should have been a bubble bitches. You actually agree with me? That's a that's a shocker. Oh, shut up. Wow, this somebody t- somebody breathalyzed Brennan. He just agreed with Andrew. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> it must be the drunk. So- <laughs> I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna admit that I'm actually gonna change something. Wow, hmm. we got two people not even paying attention. No, I am paying attention. No, I'm paying attention. I'm, I see I'm where not you're you doing. I'm, I'm not, not you, Tim. Oh, okay. <laughs> you were paying attention. Yeah. Sorry. Too distracted. Hmm. Yeah, too getting distracted. Willing to admit it. Uh, yeah. This is another team I think that's close to rebuild time. Yeah, I just don't think it's working out. Well, and it's hard. I mean, because, I mean, to be fair, you've got Houston, L.A., and Texas. I'm keeping my original point. Just grinding, grinding away. And it's – they've made some aggressive moves. 
and it didn't pay off. <laughs> I think the window's kind of closed for Seattle. So when you're in a division with the Angels, the Rangers, and the Astros, yeah, it's gonna be tough. Yep. As a matter of fact, I would put them between the Marlins and Mets. And I only say that because the Marlins have a lot of upside. I think <sighs> that's just me. Fuck it. I agree with you, actually. Let's do it. I've been successfully persuaded. I have my moments. And I actually like took back my persuasion from Manju, so. Yeah. Whatever. Okay, so you're feeling better. He must be looking at a spreadsheet now. Yep. <sighs> Brendan Soap is up and looks at spreadsheets. That's, 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 that's science. It is science. <laughs> Show me a spreadsheet. I could drive. <laughs> you have a spreadsheet you can drive? You don't? No. Atlanta Braves. Atlanta. Uh, uh, Atlanta Braves. I don't know why that was a hard thing for my mouth to say. Atlanta Braves. Just look at the bottle of wine and you'll get your answer. Straight booty. Yes, sir. They only 10 games down right now, but like in spirit, they might as well be 25. And it seems like Ham Porter is gone or will be gone soon. Will be. That whole team is getting blown the fuck up. Which is okay. It needed to be. Yeah. It needed to be back in 2025, to be honest with you. I yes, appreciate him. I appreciate him for sticking with what he had and getting a good role and playing the team. But it needs to be blown up and started over. How much okay. is the fault of the previous GM? Is a, I think that's the question you're trying 90, to ask. 95%. 95. <laughs> 90, 90. All right, 5%. here's the question. 5% Shamrock. You guys mentioned Porter. Where y'all think he's going? Crickets. <laughs> well, it's got to be somebody. Well, I would hope it's somebody with enough of a whole prospect. Los line. Angeles. I was Angeles. little. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, They're, I was kind of thinking. The whole their lineup them. is catcher. They have the prospect capital. Yeah. They are not afraid to make big moves, as we saw with the <sighs> Allenson for uh, Acuna trade. Mm -hmm. He's gonna go to Either, San Diego. I, I, both y'all oh. got both of mine swiped for me. I had those two in my head. <laughs> It'll be faster then. Okay. I was wondering if Chicago might try to pull up the, the Cubs. With what? They already well, have two catchers that they're overpaying. Well, might yeah, as well add a third. Yeah, neither one of them is. You've all already good. shown a lack of willingness to care about your budget. So that Ham Porter for Aiden Pearson trade, What? who won that trade? Split. Was it just a one for one? Technically? No. I mean, compare player to player, almost a wasp, but slight edge to Pearson. Yeah, honestly, I can't tell between the two of them which one I'd rather have, so. Yeah. It depends on the day. Porter is having a down year this season, though, offensively. Yeah, yeah so is Pearson. Oh, yeah. yeah, so is Pearson. Defensively, but, though, they're fine. Offense uh, is collapsing in the EMLB. You heard it here first. Offense is collapsing. We're going back to the 20s, bitches. Ban the uh, shift. <laughs> I, I, I want to hear about – I want to sing Go Cubs Go. Cubs? You think he's going Cubs? Or yeah. are we talking about the team now? Cubs. Hmm. Our first bubble bitch. Now, here's the thing. They're going to make the playoffs. Does that make them a bubble team? In spirit? Yes. This team ain't that good. They're good. They're not that good. They're another pitching and I, I two seasons ago I would not have considered them a pitching and defense team, and that's what they are this year. I was literally about to say it's kind of funny how they're 
philosophy has switched. Mm -hmm. A little bit. And, and we were all well, thinking that that Danny Smith's move to right field was just a cosmetic shift at the beginning of the year, and he's got like a nine. So I mean, he's got like nine zone rating. I kind of understand it actually. Yeah, I do too. It's brilliant. Well, like. Max Ortiz is having a fantastic season defensively, so it tells you he's not a step down. And if you have, if you're not taking a step down, honestly taking kind of a step up at defense in the center field, you might as well physically protect your best hitter. And Ortiz, not only that, Ortiz has a better zone rating right now than Smith. That's what I just said. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought you were just pointing out that he had 11 zone. I was I was specifying that it was definitely better than Danny. Yeah, uh, I meant like like if you compare like last like I think like he has only, he's getting real close to Danny Smith's total for last year. Yeah, no. Oh, uh, seventeen point eight. So he's not actually close yet, but. So yeah, well, we, we all thought he was crazy moving him to right, but it's turned out to be pretty good. Whereas a lot most of the center fielders in this league that I've been because I've been looking through like what teams need center fielders. Like there's a lot of center fielders with negative zone ratings across the league. And and maybe we all thought he was kind of stupid. Maybe we all thought he was a moron for throwing all the money and trade capital at Sandy Alcantara, Connor Sievold and pa uh, Paulo Lopez. But honestly, that's working out for him it's too. Worked. So yeah, he could, I, I think he's going to trade for some bullpen help. However, I do want to say, despite the nice things that I have said here, I don't think this team is what I would call a legit playoff team. Like they're going to be in the playoffs, but like, I don't view them as that second tier. I view them solidly as that third tier of teams in the playoffs. I think this is a team that gets bounced in the wild card round. And if they survive to the DS, they get brushed aside. I actually would have them in playoff team. I, 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 it's, it's, an, it's another Philadelphia situation where I, uh, where I think their hitting is underperforming. And if they start hitting better, like what we've seen from them the past couple seasons, they're going to be scary. I, I wouldn't put them in legit contenders, but I would, I wouldn't have them as low as the bubble. This is a very competitive league. The National League is mostly as a whole worse than the American League, at least the top of it. So, My turn. What? My turn. Oh, okay. it's, it's pizza boy's turn. No, yeah. see a boy pizza. Um, hungry. Nationals. The Nationals. The Nationals. The Nationals. So their offense has come back this year, which is kind of funny. Juan Soto is an MVP candidate again, which is awesome. Jose Anthony's hitting like prime Jose Anthony. Mark Diggs crushing the ball. Just in case, looking pretty good. You know, just in case you have him. Um, they're like pull even with the Cubs for me as a bubble. Again, hundred percent agree. I know this is kind of an illogical system to do it because they're like they're like virtually guaranteed to be in the playoffs, but. I feel like they're like in spirit a bubble team. Like, here's why I'm making. This uh, I'm sorry. Uh, there. What was that noise? Well, I no longer have the weirdest noise tonight. Yeah. <laughs> like, they're they got a like. I feel like a lot of the National League teams and why I'm so down on them is that there's very few complete teams in the National League. I feel like, but but if you're gonna put the Nationals in a bubble, bitch, you gotta put the Dodgers in bubble, bitch. <clears throat> nah, fuck the Dodgers. The Nationals are not a bubble team. Yes, they are. No, I think that you, they. You, you know, high. you know the argument we always make about Chris. Mm -hmm. I'll say this: that's Joe for me. Joe does more with less. In my mind. And I know I'm on an island, but I think that? that the Nationals are extremely weak in pitching again, but have a killer lineup. Mm -hmm. the 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 Cubs lineup is super underperforming, but their pitching is really good this year. Uh, the Phillies pitching is un or is is amazing, but their lineup is underperforming. There's just a whole lot of not complete teams in the National League. 
It's true. This Nationals team is giving me a lot of the prior seasons of Boston Red Sox vibe. All offense, no oh, pitching. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't carry them well in the playoffs. Well, and the, well, but the year that Washington won it all, that was the same argument. Their it was specifically their good. bullpen that we had an yeah. issue with. Their rotation but, was really good that year. Yeah. yeah. But, their the bull, bullpen, but the bullpen, their bullpen came stepped through. it up in the playoffs. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, the Orioles hit to too many double plays. <laughs> Anybody but Madrano. Anybody but Madrano. <laughs> they didn't mean it, Brendan. Well, they did, but you didn't. <laughs> no, we did. No. We oh didn't. wow. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm dizzy. <laughs> and he chased it with what? <laughs> Water. Oh, okay. All right. I'm not scared. Arizona. Straight ass, kid. Come on, you can do this. Timmy, I love you. I know. You're right. We are the we are the third expansion team. Absolutely. No, <laughs> you're the fourth. There's one yeah. other team that I call an expansion team right now. Yep. And you know what? For shits and giggles, because they're also not that interesting to talk about. Okay. Arizona's bad. It's not really your fault. Props to help. you for acknowledging that your team's bad, and instead of desperately trying to be good, you, you leaned into it, and you're going to make your team better in a couple years. Yeah. The, what I what I suggested for Minerva is what I'm doing myself. Although I'm trying to trade some pieces <coughs> that will would be helpful to somebody else, I think. Um just to get some prospect capital. So, yeah. Respect. I like drafting. It's fun. It is. It's always fun. Am I next? Hey, get to watch them for You're seven next, years. baby. The Pittsburgh Pirates. Eeny, meeny, miny. Coin the flip. only National League team I consider to be a real threat to win the world. Like, uh, like, like I never said, not a real threat, because I think the Phillies are kind of a threat. Playoff teams are kind of a threat. Only one I consider to be the number one threat to win a World Series. In the National, like, like, a realistic threat. That's not the right way to say this. I'm drunk. I can't put my words together. I think they're better than the rest of the National League. Let's leave it at that. Fair I'd enough. That. I would buy that. They are... They're not a legit contender, but they're a playoff team. In my opinion, I'd take the Phillies over the Pirates right now. i take a team that does it all over a team that does one thing and can't do the other. I agree with that statement. I just yeah, trust I, the Phillies more than the Pirates. I, take, I like the Phillies pitching more than I like the Pirates pitching, but I also like the Pirates team more than I like the Phillies team. Now, I will say there was a big swing and a miss, pun intended, on one of their offseason moves, and that was the $10 million contract <laughs> per year they gave to Fumatoshi Suzuki. That has not worked at all. Uh, and they, the Pirates could use some help in the corner outfield, um, oh, which is what they signed Suzuki to do. Um, mm-hmm. So I expect the main target for Pittsburgh this trade deadline to be an impact corner outfielder. You know, I heard this yeah. guy named Austin Meadows maybe on the market. I mean, he's injured. I, I doubt people are going to be interested. He's injured for the next three weeks. I can't so. believe they threw so much money at him. At Meadows or no. Fumatoshi? I mean, yes, but at Fumatoshi. Yeah. It was such yeah. a dumb, stupid move. I don't care if I'm judging you. I don't care if I've made dumb, stupid moves. Yell at me. I don't give a <laughs> fuck. I'm not a good GM. I changed my name because I'm not a good GM, okay? That was a dumb move. I'll call it for what it is. Tell me I'm stupid. Whatever. You're I stupid. You, I love you, Cody. Fuck you, Aiden. <laughs> Find me dinner first. <laughs> and we Where just is... had our EMLB sexy play of the day. <laughs> Copyright. All right.
Oh, I don't think anybody's no. coming for, for him no. after that. Not, not for <laughs> Brendan's singing. <laughs> no. All right, Andrew. All right, let's go. Yankees. The Yankees. The I was very tempted to hit the mute button on him. <laughs> are that. aggressively <laughs> mediocre. Yes. Interesting. I was holding it until I could get turned over to the tab, but it was taking me longer than I wanted to. <laughs> I, would huh. put I don't disagree you, wouldn't, you wouldn't have them on the bubble. I'm putting them in the bubble. No, not a play. I'd say team. they're in the bubble. Do we all disagree? I think yeah, I would. I, I think I would. F- feel more confident about it after the trade deadline and see what he's done. But uh true. Maybe we can do another edition of this later in the season. I like that. Off season edition. Honestly, right. this has been a lot of fun for me, so we Same need a uh, we need an EMLB baseball America draft review. Um <laughs> St. Louis Cardinals. Ooh You know where they belong. Here's the here's the thing about put up and shut up from like my rankings. There's like no consistency, and I know there's no consistency. <laughs> if thought he was big gonna add if, another square, like capital I, <laughs> capital F, with like the emphasis, like 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 uh, quotations around it, and then neon lights if and flashing. Their GM could sit still for more than five minutes instead of acting like a toddler with ADHD, this team would be a bubble team. <laughs> but because their GM is who he is, they're, the, they're aggressively mediocre. Because, you know, am, am I, am I coming for the trade? Am I coming for the trade crown? Yes. Yeah. Sit still for the love of God. We will give you your Pokemon game. Sit still. <laughs> You probably should have told me that a few hours ago. <laughs> no! <laughs> Breaking news, ladies and gentlemen. It's never... What? What? Wait a minute. No, that's not breaking news. It's like when the newscast gets to the weather. They always have the weather. Here's, here's I, your I, 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 making a trade. I'm realizing now, as we've done this, I should have added another tier and had aggress- and had probably like probably split aggressive uh, probably called bubble bitches something else mm-hmm. and had bubble bitches be what a lot of the aggressive mediocre teams are and had aggressive mediocre to be something else but well, I'm okay we could with have it. we could have aggressive mediocre and unaggressively mediocre bubble bitches has changed its meaning from bubble for the playoffs to bubble for the world series how about that there you go and suddenly the rankings make a lot more sense it's not going to be as spread out but that's fine I don't care about spread out. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll pick next. Uh, Texas. Deep in the heart of Texas. Deep in the heart of Texas. I want to look at something real quick to make sure I know where I'm going to put them relative to the other teams around them. Uh, don't start making sense now. No. No. no, no. <laughs> okay. I think, they're, I think they're a step behind the Blue Jays. Like in the American League, they're definitely the third team in the division. They're third team in the standings. I think they're the third team talents. What the third team talent wise? Third team talent. The third. Say that three, Say that three times fast. Third team. Fifth, fifth, fifth. He already tried. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but like I think they're good. I think they're like I think they're a team that's you know legitimately got a shot. I just think they're behind that top tier teams. They've lost the arms race. I think they know that what they're hoping for la- like last year is to get hot in the playoffs because frankly it doesn't matter how good you are in the regular season if you're good in the playoffs which is dumb that's a whole other argument to have be had um they got a real shot at it like they did last year they're not as good as the astros but hey they beat the astros in the playoffs last year it could happen again i think th- that while they have really enjoyed adding alex lee to their lineup they are really missing colwyn more because the the back three of their rotation is not doing well. 
Maybe they got a move planned or something. Yeah, I'm thinking they make a pitching move this trade deadline. Yeah. I'm wondering if I'm actually going to make it to work on time tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, we still have no. eight teams left to talk about. <laughs> yeah. Let's get rolling, bitches. Let's go. Woo! Is it my turn? Yeah. I don't know whose turn it is, actually. It is. I picked Texas. Giants. El Gigantes. Bubble team. Mm-hmm. Correct. I think that they are going to be in the playoffs, and I actually think that they can make some noise. Correct. I think I would move them to the front of that line, but yeah, everything you said. You I, I think they'd the be Cubs? ahead of the Nationals. I yes. think they'd be ahead of the Nationals behind the Cubs. I I, I agree where Brendan placed them. Cubs and I Cubs disagreed. Have better, Cubs I, have better pitching Nash, this year, not talent wise, but like performance. Cubs have better pitching. Nationals have better hitting. The Giants are okay at both of those things. <laughs> They're outside the top 10 in all offensive categories. What are you talking about? <laughs> and winning anyway. Good point. Good point. Yeah. Don't confuse they're, us with they're, facts. They're, they're, cub, they're Cubs light. <laughs> they are riding on their pitching rotation right now. They are Cubs yeah. light. All right, light Tim. Feet. And I'm glad to see that they proved that last year was a fluke. And Me not too. the year before. I think they just good. made a pretty significant trade, too, with the Marlins. What? Did you not see that? in the? It wasn't announced by Kamish. We haven't had a trade announced by Kamish in months. What are you talking about? Uh, so, they do? Let, me, let me pull it up. Transactions. Remember when we used to get trades announced and we'd all react to them and it was a lot of fun time and people actually talked on the Discord server instead of fighting with each other? I mean, they fought with each other still, but there was actually talking. <laughs> so Wait, um, there fights in the Discord server? What? I know! The San Francisco Giants traded away right fielder Alex Kirilov, starting pitcher Derek Cherry, and shortstop prospect Mike Dowding. And got back from Miami, Adam Hasley, Nick Margovicius, Grant Gavin, and John Doxakis. Nick the most interesting pitcher in the league. My boy. John Doxakis. I like that trade a lot, actually, mostly because Alec yeah. Kurloff has been a massive disappointment. Yeah, he needs That's a go. lot of salary that got moved. Yeah, it is. But, but what's his face? Eddie Lowe's salary moves like that. And hey, Margovicius has another uh, stamp in his EMLB passport. That's great. Yes, he does. He's been a journey. Check it off another one. It's the Edwin G. D. or Edwin Jackson of our time. Yep. All right, Tim. Yeah, EMLB needs a uh, immaculate grid. Uh, <laughs> I made one. I made one one time. It's true. Make another Ooh. one, bitch. <laughs> All right, bet. Why do I keep calling you, bitch? I'm sorry. It's Are you really? But to make it up to him, let's let's. Where do you put the race? I'll make um to make it up to him. I'll suck his dick when he comes to visit me. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I've had too much to drink. Yes, you have. And this especially is where since, I don't give two craps about editing anymore. Especially so, uh, I, since since he turned you down your proposal a couple that's of true. times ago. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. You are so in, easy uh, when I'm, you're drunk, I, I, uh, Brendan. I'm in another league that allows international prospect trading, and there was a guy who traded a closer mm-hmm. for 10 international league prospects it is the dumbest trade i've ever seen in any online league and that very much includes the trades i've made with minerva oh lord all right so where do we put my team huh because oh the, the... <laughs> I, I i don't know where i'd put them so i'm very interested I've been calling you a bitch this whole ass episode. You're a bubble bitch, bitch. I uh, put him behind the Giants, but I agree with the bubble. Yeah. Okay, so real quick, I actually wanted to reference this while we were doing this, and I like completely forgot. So let's go check base runs. Because if I'm not mistaken, by base runs, the Rays are actually mm. better than they are in their record. Yeah, by base, oh no, by base runs, they're actually the same record, which is actually kind of impressive. It means they're performing we like exactly to steal bases. Supposed to be. Yeah, I stand by it. They're a bubble team. They're a bubble bitch. Mm-hmm. Bitch. 
I they're not as good. Like, I, I don't I don't really think that they're gonna be like I don't think that they're like a legit, you know, like I don't think they're gonna make a real crack at it, but they're good. We're second in bullpen ERA in the uh in the AL. Yeah. Do you think you can close the gap against Boston? Coach Prime? I think if I can make and the right like bullpen, Coach Prime. You know, if we can make the right moves here, you know, dog, uh, we'll, we'll make something happen. Uh, you know, it all comes down. I got a bunch of dogs in here, man, but we really got to look back and evaluate. Got a bunch of dogs, though. These kids are great. They got a bunch of dogs. I got a bunch of dogs here. I got to make sure they ain't cats, though. We got to make sure we got a lot of dogs. And if I, you know, if I got to bring in a few more dogs, I bring in a few more dogs. You know what I'm saying? Man? You know, uh, you, know, you nailed oh, Coach Prime. Prime. for two minutes and didn't say a damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? Um, I just want to point this out. In terms of like speech pattern, Coach Prime is the college football version of Donald Trump. Oh, Lord. I'm glad you specified in terms of speech pattern. Yeah. Yes. You know what? I feel like Coach Prime is just like cut off the same cloth that uh, Ed Orgeron was cut off of. They kind of sound similar. Oh, yeah. 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 Hey. Uh, uh, like fifty percent. Fifty percent of all Baptist ministers have just freaked out now. Because... <laughs> Only fifty. <laughs> well, they don't all watch this stream. <laughs> Some of them are hanging out with Wander Franco. All right, everyone, we need to take a brief intermission while we hear a message from our sponsor. What can Viagra do for you? Brought to you by Chris Hansen. I think we've managed to offend everybody in the last 30 seconds. That's pretty impressive. Deep breaths, bro. Deep breaths. All right. By I'll the way, I just want to point out that my cup is empty, so here's just how much I have left. <laughs> I opened this tonight. That's true. I, just before stream, it was, it was pretty full. All right, Aiden, who you got? Boston. Beans. Eaters. I hate Boston. <laughs> wow. I love it. They are tell, the most, tell us how you really feel. They're the most stupidly lucky team in EMLB. Do you have your your Is it luck at that point though? Stats to back it up. Yeah, base runs. According base to base runs, runs yeah. they according to base runs, they're the luckiest team in the league. They're eight games ahead of where they should be. They should be forty five and forty five. They are seven. A, they that would are be seven ahead of their pie fag. Dude, like, okay, let's go. Like, let's get this. Dude, like, let's okay. Wow. At their pitching sucks again. Like, it always sucks, but it never seems to fucking matter. <laughs> Someone's salty. <laughs> I am salty. I don't like this team. I don't like that they're always around. In, in fairness. Clearly, Billy's doing something right. Clearly, he knows more than I do, so like I can't disparage it too much. But also, I hate Boston in real life. So, how about this, Billy? Wow. Nothing, n- nothing in this is personally directed towards you. This is more about my angst about being in the same division as you since I started this league, and you being the same team year in and year out with hardly any personnel changes and getting the same results. Well, uh, I mean, according to the first GM who shall not be named, Commission is the one actually running this team in secret. Okay, fine, Commission. I'm really sorry <laughs> that I'm disparaging your favorite team. <laughs> I just think that y- I just think that all Red Sox fans, you include you included, are very much Our delusional. And really cast most, that. Le- you are I the really most can- spoiled fan base in, in baseball. You know why no one wants to be your GM because you're the worst fans in baseball. I said it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like, like this is just the truth here. No one wants to be the Red Sox GM. Every high-profile candidate Billy that they've Bean tried to get to be... interview, every single one has turned down the chance to interview for one of 
30 MLB GM jobs. No one wants the job. You know why no one wants the job? Because the fan base puts so much pressure on the ownership to win right away, but also be good and also have a good farm and also be winning and also be paying a hot payroll, but also not be paying that guy too much money because he's gotten too, he's getting too self-important with himself. It's a constantly shifting set of metrics that you have to evaluate themselves by. And the ownership feels pressure to cave to the stupid fan base. And they constantly are changing their mind on what direction the franchise wants to go. Yet they've had what five general managers in the last 10 years. Bad fan base. Not sorry. Not sorry. You're, the, so you're saying they should hire Billy. You're the Cowboys. You're the Cowboys of baseball. How's that feel? <laughs> I wasn't expecting to say how I really felt tonight, but I did. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hold back on our count. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I would have said the Yankees are the Cowboys of baseball or the Dodgers, but. Not by attitude. Not by attitude. The Yankees are frequently really good, and they're sure that the championship success hasn't been the same. That by championship success, the Cowboys' comparison is very, very accurate. But Yankees' ownership and Yankees' management is very consistent, and they're very methodical, and they definitely adhere to their plan. They don't shift the bar every time their fan base, fan base, fan base freaks out over them losing. <coughs> Fan base overreactions are the key to being a Cowboys fan and the key to Cowboys ownership. And the same for the Red Sox. Well, and let's be fair. Most Red Sox fans think baseball was invented in 2004. Yeah, actually. (laughs) (laughs) Anyway, moving on. I think they are a bubble team. I would put them just above the race. Um. I could I could see them effing okay. around and now stumbling that, into the ALCS. Now that my now that my now that my little my little uh, speech has been over. Am I the am I the Brendan whisperer? No, that's twice just, now. Just, this is well, what, that's this, right. You put your back. <laughs> this is what I really wanted to do. This is just, okay. I was just complaining. I would I would also put them on the bubble team, although showing that like the the base run stats that they are indeed the luckiest team in baseball they are skill to be lucky though that's true base run here's the thing though base runs are not a be all end all and it does not tell you the whole story and obviously like here's the thing it's one thing to say that you should be 500 instead you're eight games over you're eight games over it doesn't really matter what should have happened that matters that you already are yeah you're winning Yeah. yeah I'm about to make y'all mad later, but okay. Yeah, I mean that's the, at the end of the day, it's the wins that matter, right? <coughs> yeah. This is based on feelings. That was lovely, like. Aiden. <laughs> gets Coach Prime to you. It's at least I have the decency to mute myself when I'm coughing. <sighs> All right, can we get moving on to the next team, please? Yeah. Is it Aiden's turn? Maybe. Who said no, Red Sox? Right. No. Aiden was Red Sox. It's Angel's turn. Okay. All right. Uh, Angels. Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim of Los Angeles of California Angels. <laughs> Here's the know? thing. I think the American League is significantly better than the National League. Okay? Fuck the National League. I think there are four legit contenders in baseball this year. <laughs> And the Angels are one of them. That's fair. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I wholeheartedly agree. I love that Tom finally bought in and bought. Uh, Tim, you're All up. Right. Uh, San Diego. see him anymore. <laughs> you know where they are because they're the blank void. Some would call I, still, I still have the Padres and contenders. I think they're a contender. Yeah, I, do I don't too. think they're a legit contender. I think they're a playoff team. You're the only one who, in this call who thinks so. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm the here's one why you're wrong. Yep. 
I'm still picking them for NL pennant this year. Over the I Pirates? I don't disagree. Yes. Andrew, if you wanted to make the picture yourself, you could have drank a bottle of wine and then made them, <laughs> but you didn't. That's tomorrow night. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my turn. Brendan, Brendan has to send that to me first. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, no. <laughs> He's finished the whole thing. Wait, we still have three teams left, dude. How, how are you going to function? <laughs> I'm not. Good. I'm more Good concerned morning, about him functioning at work tomorrow. Baltimore. I'm not. You know why? Because I'm taking Friday. I'm taking a three-day weekend because I have a friend coming to town. And Tomorrow's it's gonna be Thursday, a... though. I know. I'm going to be at work tomorrow, but I don't let him give a shit. Yeah. Good I'm going to pick her up Baltimore. from the airport. I'm leaving early. I'm leaving early from work so I can go pick her up from the airport. So. Oh, it's back. okay. It's nothing serious. She's just going to be here. She's going to suck my dick. She's going to go home later. It's going to be all right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to ask about second base, but I guess there's no need to now. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Buy the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Baltimore, where are they at? Can Tim do... Yeah, you know what, let's do Baltimore now, fuck it. All right, about to make y'all mad, bitches, and I'm totally Homer in this shit. However, <laughs> this is based on feelings, not facts. <laughs> what? Nah. What? Nah. I'm trying to decide. Damn, he's having way too much fun with this. I actually don't know where I want to put him. You're on some fucking crack right now if that's how high you're putting them. I'm the top of the bubble, bitches, baby. <laughs> no, you're not. All right. Now, here's why I'm doing this. Number one, I control the list. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've already established I'm the worst GM. If you're the worst GM... Ah, you where's can... your list now? <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you're the worst GM, you can get lucky and have good things happen to you. Second, since bottoming out 19 and 35, exactly one third of the way through the season. We are now 24 and 13. Every se- like, like I, I sent to you guys the information. Our top hitters are fucking hitting. We have if the best rotation in the league is Cleveland's, we're at least top three. And I also have an absolutely devastating bullpen top three. Am I really that good? I don't know. I don't care. I made the list. Yell at me. I don't fucking care what y'all on the Discord say. I think you belong in aggressively mediocre. I agree. I don't give a a fuck. I'm gonna show y'all I'm gonna show y'all wrong again. When I start when I start bad, I go to the World Series. That's all I'm saying. Uh, You're at the top of aggressively mediocre. I'm sorry. I don't care. I'm fine with that. Yeah. I'm going to make myself a bubble, bitch. All right, let's do the last two. Do the mediocre Squidward meme. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Mediocre? Uh, If it's me, Milwaukee. Let's end it with the... Let's end it with the man who couldn't be here tonight. Interesting. Wow. I would have put them at the end of the mediocre around where the Mets in Colorado are. Yeah, that's yeah, where I, I was looking. Good. Yeah. They're trending I mean, downward though. Like they're trending towards a full rebuild. That's why I'm that's why I'm putting them yeah. in straight booty. Not yeah, much to say, I, I guess. <laughs> uh well, I, I still think they're gonna finish above Colorado and uh, but yeah, but Colorado's going upward. Milwaukee's trending downward. So yeah, true. Yep. All right, right. Cincinnati. The real number one bubble bitch. I I I'm I agree with that. I'm okay with that. Well, in my mind, the Cubs are in playoff teams for me. So yes, I agree with that. 100%. 100%. Now, mm-hmm. talking about a team that might be overperforming their skill level, I think their offense is being helped by their home ballpark. And they're playing better than they probably should. Maybe. 
So we'll see how long it lasts. We'll see if their pitching has been pretty darn good this year. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't say anything about their pitching. I'm talking about their hitting overperforming. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, it'll be interesting to see how Jr. approaches the deadline. Does he go Look. all in, or does he try to like compete this year with the eyes on the future? We'll have to. See All I'm that. saying is that when you're packing it like like Jr. is, you have the confidence <laughs> to just eventually have things work out your way, and I think things are finally eventually working out his way. And and I think the way the league is, and how you know we've got that hierarchy of teams at the top, you get a team like Cincinnati, you pretty much have to go for it, right? Because I mean a couple of more good years of trades and things like that aren't going to get you any closer to the top, in my opinion, fighting the yeah. Phillies and other teams. I'd agree. So, I'm dizzy. So go for Brendan, it. Brendan, how are you feeling? Dizzy. Mm. dizzy? I want to say, by the way, that um, seriously, though, uh, if anyone has a problem with anything on these rankings, uh, get bent. I don't really give a fuck. <laughs> And just Jesus. remember the statement he's in making all these. No, no, that's actually a sober. That's Kansas, statement. right? That's a sober statement right there. <laughs> no, that's get a sober. Bent, get bent, all thirty-two of you. All right, I'm happy with it. What? I, I, I agree with where you put me. Yeah, yeah I agree with where you put me. Yeah, I don't care about you guys. In not, fact, I think you over. I'm not even saying me, that to you guys. All right, right isn't it? quickly, quickly before we leave. Yeah. <laughs> no, real quick, real quick. I have a question. I have a. Few, I have a question. Should we make all hot seat questions directed towards me? Why didn't no. you get all? Everyone right? goes onto the hot seat. It ain't all about you. You already had you'll, your time in the spotlight with your list. You'll start on the hot seat, and then we won't. You know. All right, Brendan. I'll start. You ready? Are you ready? Sure. <laughs> Which GM is going to make the dumbest trade deadline move? Baltimore. Baltimore. Hurt. I mean, you already told me how dumb I was trading Alex Lee, so. That wasn't trade deadline, though. Yeah, that, fair. Was dumb, that was just dumbest move, period. It's all uphill. All right. Who's next? I'll go. All right. So you've been trending up in the past couple of months. Of all of the upward swing, what has been the biggest surprise in, as far as players improving that you did not expect? For me? Yes. Victor Robles. Although Victor Robles has actually gone, like, he's been, like, steady this year. He's one of our best hitters. Wasn't expecting that. Yeah, I'm pretty, you signed him more as, like, a defensive player, right? Yeah. Yep. All right, my question. What team improves their World Series chances the most this trade deadline. Los Angeles. Angels. That's saying something because they're already pretty high up there for World Series chances. Mm -hmm. Yep. I think they I think they're getting hand porter. All right. That would be huge. All right. Yeah. Timothy, you're on the seat. Oh boy. Okay, go. What is your favorite EMLB apparel item? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I love this shirt, but I have to say Attica's Portland Stag shirt because I'll never forget his one little kid. I was in a bookstore one time, and this little kid comes up to me and says, it's not 2027 yet. And I said, I'm from the future. <laughs> and he goes running off and finds his mom. <laughs> so that'll always be my forever shirt. I'm going to be wearing this tomorrow at our uh, company's uh, Wear Pink for Breast Cancer Day. So I'm probably going to be off Friday. Because <laughs> I'll probably have to go talk to HR. <laughs> All right, who's next? So it is documented that the Diamondbacks are selling at this trade deadline. Mm -hmm. But one name that is missing from this list is your 
second baseman. Is that player not going to be moved ever? Because that player might be one of the better trade values. I won't say ever. And I'm not, not and, and I'm not I haven't fully decided what I want to do yet. And I also know that I would want to give that the CCP's creator an opportunity first Fair if enough. she wants them. Um, and I've been busy with the draft and other stuff and haven't gotten around to asking, but I will. Fair enough. So, coming to a uh, trade deadline for you. I had a question. I completely forgot it. Um, no, no playoff tickets printed by the Diamondbacks this year. <laughs> Shit. Damn it. I had a fucking question. I like was like thinking about it. Um... If you had to pick one team for the entire second half of the season to totally and like completely messy diarrhea shit the bed, which team would that be? This isn't the question, by the way. It's just the next one I can come okay. up with. Okay. No, that's a good one. Um, The team can't already be bad, by the way. They got to be good right now. Oh, well, there goes me. Uh, <laughs> someone who prior wasn't crapping the bed I, I don't think this will happen but just because of the, the stress of being in this I think Texas could fall apart pretty quick Ooh. interesting a lot of it depends on what the Angels do, what the Astros do with the trade deadline that's fair and I mean, it's like one bad trade decision to. to I, I feel like Texas needs to do something. So the chances of them swinging and missing are pretty. You know, uh, That's a very good point. Story. Andrew, you're on the seat. Does pineapple belong on pizza? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, let's fucking go! Andrew, I love you. I take back every bad thing I ever said about you. And it was un 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 unironically, up until like a couple months ago, my favorite pizza is either pepperoni or meat lovers. But I've had some pretty darn good Hawaiian pizzas recently. I'm like, okay, that's top. Yes, that's man. my top three now. This is why hey, he is our leader. Thank to you. To everyone. <laughs> to everyone. Pepperoni. Pineapple. Bacon. Pussy. Oh. Actually, the the Hawaiian pizza I had was ham, pineapple, and bacon, and it was it was darn good. Oh, I I, I know you said pepperoni, but okay. I'm just saying ham works too. It does. I'm work. glad Tim heard what I said. I, I, I heard what you said. Are you kidding me? We were ignoring you. <laughs> Who are you talking to? Of course, I heard you. <laughs> Andrew, we're talking to your eighty your something year question, old father. And remember, you have to answer it, and remember, this episode will come out after the trades happen, so it's okay. Uh oh. <laughs> what trade did you make? <laughs> here's the funny thing I'm is because of the bleeding. trade i made i was gonna try to get this episode published before it was announced <gasps> oh get the it at tell the it angels, anyways the angels did not get hamilton porter let's fucking go all right the cardinals got hamilton porter you oh, mad congrats, cool. man. <laughs> you, you. Because yeah, I was watching you when he came up and I was like, hey, because hey, I could Brendan, see him and say, Brendan, hey, earlier, earlier, do you, do you remember when you pointed out that I was distracted? I wasn't paying attention. Do you think I remember anything that I've done tonight? I remember. You, you called me and Aiden out for not paying attention and I admitted that I wasn't paying attention. It was because we were finalizing the deal. I, I was also, I, I was also talking, a, uh, I was also talking a trade, but. Not Hamilton was, Porter, though, because you're going to catch her. Let's go. No, I got to catch her. Ham, I, Port Ham Porter about to be dealt in half a season. <laughs> yeah, and take a wild guess who I had to give up in order to do it. Allenson? No. Pablo Sanchez? No. Royce? No. Dickback mm -hmm. McClee? The number two prospect Noble. in EMLB, Sergio Rosado. Huh. 
the Ooh. the one who looks like the next Brockamanis. Yeah. He's like, what, that's worth 19? it. I think that's he's, a good he's, call. He's right. 19. Yeah. Tim, I, your question to Andrew. Well, not just him, though. I had to give up more pieces than that. <laughs> All right. Um. So now I won't put this up right away. I'll wait until the trade's announced. <laughs> that works. You should put it up right that away. That works. I should. <laughs> All right. Bleep this part. So, yeah, right. <laughs> of all the things we bleep, it's that. Yeah, right. Uh, that would be really funny. That would be. That would be. Oh, God. Um, okay, so making that trade. Yeah. How do, you th- how do I what? What what What's left to do to get you back into contention this year? Here's the funny thing is I did not make that deal w- with the intention of that putting me right back in the race. Okay. I put I did that because I wanted to solidify my catcher position for the future. I thought that Cox was going to be the answer and he ended up not developing like I wanted him to. And in this league, if you don't have an elite catcher defensively at least, you're going to be struggling and Porter is the best capture option that I could trade for that's not owned by a GMCCP. And I I really needed to lock down that catcher position. So if it gets me back in the race this season, fantastic because it could Porter could improve my rotation. Um but I I made that for a long-term deal. I plan on locking him up to an extension whenever that time comes. Nice. Breaking news. Yeah. All right. And er, er, Brandon, how stupid am I for making that trade? (laughs) All right. I'm on the hot seat. (laughs) Actually, low key, I think the best thing to do with 19 year old gambles, like. Whatever the fuck his name is, Sergio, Rosado. <laughs> Sergio was ever, um, <laughs> is to trade him for known value because a 19 year old mm-hmm. in that position has got a better chance of completely and totally flaming out and becoming nothing than he does of actually making the majors. That's fair. Mm-hmm. Coach Prime! Coach Prime, baby. All, All right. right. I, I, How long is it going to take for Colorado to get good? Colorado football, or what are we talking? What Colorado? <laughs> Both. <laughs> are you going to suit up for the Rockets? You know, if they call, just to call away, you know, being over in Boulder, you know. Well, I got a lot of dogs, though. We got a lot of dogs here in the program. I like so, how you keep saying dogs. So, so, so you know, it, it'll all depend. It'll be a heavy competition, but you know what? We've already improved, and we'll see where we go. I have a question. Dude, I'm not going to lie. Your prime impression is like fucking spot on. Yeah. It's like my Charles Barkley <laughs> level is spot on. So I do have a serious question for you. Are you, hard, are you hard to find? You know, I ain't hard to find. Just come find me. You know where to find me, boy. You know where to find me, baby. I don't have a Coach good. Prime related question, so I was no, going to ask. Give me a non Coach Prime question. <laughs> All right, uh, to teams. get you guys into the playoff picture, what is the position that the Tampa Bay Rays are going to be looking to upgrade this trade deadline? Bullpen. All right. How much longer is Mayhall on your team? Is he still on your team? <laughs> he is still on the team. Look, I haven't posted a trade block because if I only <coughs> go this deadline without trading, I'd be okay. There's a few names that I would like to deal away because they're on expiring deals. If anyone has an offer, please come and see me. Outside of that, I'm not – in previous years, I would have been pressed to make a trade. I like where my team is at. Can you do me a favor? Is That's a, the question? Can you no? I already asked my question. <laughs> oh, okay. can you pull up the power rankings like list again? Mm-hmm. All right. To your list. I don't fucking care. 
What makes you think I care? I don't think you care. I just wanted to see your reaction. <laughs> Thank you. I'm done. Because he's the okay. GM. Well, let's get out of here before Brendan gets more delusional. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been another episode or less. of the Podcast Pals. Maybe our last. We never know. But for all of us here, we appreciate you, JR. We're missing you. And, uh, you know, uh, this team is a lot of dogs. We got a lot of dogs in here. There's a good amount of dogs. Second base, baby. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and save second base. Have a great night, everybody.